Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel Data Toolkit. My name is Sakshi and in today's tutorial we will learn about how to load multiple XML file into the Informatica cloud. So here in the source we are using the flat file and target we are using the snowflake. So let me tell you, let me show you my source files. So you can see here I have created three XML files. So this is XML file 1 employee employee id first name last name department id and salary same i have created file 2 you can see the record is different and file 3 this one so there are three records and i have created one xml file one text file where I have just uploaded the or I have pasted the uh, path of that XML file. So you can see here I have created these files into the source file 3 uh, folder and I simply took this path. Let me show you. You can go here uh, copy as path and you can paste here. And I have given the name like multiple files XML. Now we'll talk about the Informatica cloud. So this is the console page. I am into the data integration. You can see I have created one mapping. Source, hierarchy, parser I have used and target. So if you see my YouTube channel data toolkit, I have already covered this hierarchy builder and parser. You can see the uh, chapter number 54. This is the 54. But I have used here JSON file. So subscribers, many subscribers requested me to make the video on the XML file. So that's why today we are using the XML file. So in source, let me show you source. I have simply took this file, multiple file where I have pasted all the path of the file. Then in the hierarchy, hierarchical schema i have created one schema what you have to do go to new click on component select the hierarchy schema so here you have to just provide the sample file so let me show you i have created this employee hierarchy scheme hierarchical schema employee and i have provided any sample file you can took uh, you can take any sample file from that three sample file you can see here i have given the uh, any random file details there and table name employee after that in mapping i simply took hierarchy parser so if i open hierarchy parser you can see in the input fields paths are there path column is there in my multiple file here that's why it is showing here in input field in input field selection i have mapped this path into input field then in, in input uh, in the field mapping just click on this and select map all descendants so we have to do these things in the hierarchy parser after that in the target i have selected the snowflake connection order is my database this is my schema name this is my table name so let me show you i have created employee table so there is nothing no record is in my table now let me run this mapping mapping is valid click on run So you can see it is in running state. It is still in running state with the proceeded three records. So you can see here mapping is succeeded, uh, so executed successfully. You can see here the source records are three and affected records also three. So let me check into the snowflake. If there are no records, let me execute.
so you can see here records are uh, executed successfully or loaded successfully into my target so let me show you my xml files one more time so you can see 1001 john do finance department and salary 75000 here you can see 101 john do finance and 75000 salary then second record is 1002 Jan Smith HR and 68,000 salary you can see and 1003 so in this way guys you can load the multiple xml file into the informatica cloud this concept is same as the indirect file load so if you feel this video is informative please like comment and share my video thank you for watching keep growing and learning